Good evening and welcome to Notre Dame Church. Today is the 12th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Uh, all of the music will be up on the screen and all the parts behind me. Please join us again in gathering.
a reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you, I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. How much 
more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord. Easier job for God for some of us than others, 
but nevertheless an acknowledgement of the intimacy of the detail of how much God knows each and every one of us. And so we have been encouraged by Christ to not be afraid. And that's a message that I'm sure you've heard before, and one that has formed us and shaped us into God's believers, into followers of Christ. And over these past few months, I am sure that you, like me and many others, have held on tightly to your faith, to Christ, to get through these challenging days. As you yourselves may have faced difficulties, certainly we all know, have relatives who have suffered illness or even death, and we hang on to our faith during these times. We ask God the question that is always asked during tragedy and crisis, why, O Lord, why? We don't always get the perfect answer here and now. But as people of faith, we know that there is meaning, there is redemption, there is hope, and there is new life after suffering. Fear nothing. Do not be afraid. It is at least a message from God to His faithful people that He will acknowledge us before His Heavenly Father. So let us not be afraid as we move forward in faith as one family. Let us be filled with the power of the Spirit that comes to us and strengthens us along our journey so that we can walk in the light of Christ, fearless of the darkness, and bring that light that He gives to each of us and shine it on others in need of God's hope and healing as well. Good and gracious God, hear our prayers that your peace may reign 
in the hearts of all who worship you, and that peace may spread throughout all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. In order to avoid the spread of contagion, ushers will not be taking up the collection, but we ask that you place your donation in the baskets of the church as you leave Mass today.
Just be seated and the minister will now approach you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Please join us in our communion song, Gather in Your Name. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So the 5 p.m. Mass that's this evening will be recorded this weekend and posted on our website tomorrow for anyone who is not able to attend Mass. We'll continue doing that in the weeks ahead. Um, the, the obligation to attend Mass is still suspended, even though now we can come back in smaller numbers. This Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m., we will be live streaming a talk from Dr. Ginger Gragnola on the topic of staying in the process of prayer during challenging times. So you might want to tune into the website Wednesday evening. Please note that you will need to register online each week if you are planning to attend Saturday evening or Sunday Mass. 
The mass schedule is now changed to Saturday 5 p.m., Sunday 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 12 noon. The new schedule will allow enough time to clean the church between each Mass. The 9 a.m. Mass will now be celebrated every morning from Monday through Saturday inclusive beginning this Monday. And after the blessing tonight, please follow the direction of the ushers for leaving the church. And thanks for coming back. We missed you very, very much. <laughs> and of course, tomorrow is Father's Day. We didn't forget. So we'd ask the dads among us just to bow your heads where you are. God, our Father, in your wisdom and love, you made all things. Bless these men that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Before the Mass is ended.